I left religion about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, and I want to document that experience so people don't feel as alone. I am so pissed off about something that I have no control over. The only other non-Christian in my family, my cousin, told me about a date that she went on uh, that she found exciting. I love to hear about it, but she feels like she can't go to her own family because her family is really religious. And she expresses to me all the time that she wants to talk to them about stuff. She was telling me about how, I want to talk to my mom about this. I like, I'm so tempted, like, I love this person. And obviously she knew this, but I had to be the one to be like, yeah, don't tell your mom yet. <laughs> because her family is very religious and and they already don't approve of a lot of the decisions she's made. It's just, things are either a sin or not a sin. And there's no middle ground, there's no gray area. Smoking is considered a sin. A girl being with a girl is considered a sin. When everything is black and white and there's no gray area and everything you do is somewhere on a moral plane where it's either good or bad, chances are most of the things that you end up doing are gonna be bad. Not because you're full of sin, not because you're rebellious or have evil desires, because you're human. And when people close to you tell you that they feel betrayed by what you've done, but that you don't see as an issue, is it betrayal? Is it that you're not as close anymore? Or is it just protecting your privacy? I have a sense of privacy now that I never had before. There are some things that I hold close to my chest that I shouldn't feel guilty about, but I do because you're supposed to be open about all of your sins. Sins. There's a lot of people I know that are going through the same thing right now and I want, I want you to feel like you're not alone. And I want you to know that you're not just stuck in no man's land, you know? You can be in no man's land, but there's a bunch of people there with you. Thank you for watching.